Hey everybody, what's up? Well, today I want to kind of do a, not a question and answer, but just to answer a couple questions that some people had on my inverter video. Uh, one of the questions, or one of the answers, or questions, I'm sorry, uh, that was asked in the comments was, is the efficiency high enough to justify the upfront cost of install? Meaning, since the unit is expensive, is the efficiency of the unit going to cover the cost of install? And if it does cover it, what about the cost of uh, repairs in the end, if it has to be repaired? Let me move this a little bit. Um, is it worth it? And my answer to that is absolutely 100% is worth it. And here's why I say that. Because we as air conditioning guys and girls, our job is to provide comfort. And a way of providing comfort is to remove the latent load inside the house. Meaning the, the load inside the house you do not feel. Like the humidity level. Uh, everybody thinks that we get paid to remove the sensible load, which is the temperature. Um, we get paid to remove the humidity and the benefit of removing the humidity is cooling the air. Plain and simple. There's no argument to that. Um, the inverters are, without a doubt, the best unit you can buy. Because it does everything that we need it to do. It removes the humidity by running at such a slow speed let's say first stage and, and I'm using carrier and an ICP's five stage unit because that's what I have in my house five speed for the time being I'm running on two speeds which makes it just a two stage but that will change in the fall time when I have time to change my indoor unit and all my duct work now I have noticed in the last few days, since I had had my little inverter put in, and just with it being two stage, my humidity level in my house has dropped um, four, five, six percent. Um, meaning I can raise the temperature inside the house now. So yes, it's already paying me back. When it's running on low speed, it's drawing four and a half amps. When my old unit was a single stage 15 sear, and when it was running, it was drawing 11 amps. So if my house will cool at low stage, then I'm doing a lot better than what I was when I had my just single stage unit. Now, my house is zoned, so I lose a little efficiency by it being zoned. But that will change when I put the change indoor and redo the ductwork. It's still going to be zoned, but I'll have modulating dampers, which means if the one zone is calling and the second zone is getting close to calling, the damper will open up a little bit and put some of that air into that zone and hopefully cool it down to... Uh, so it won't call. And then when I do, when I am able to make that thing full five stages, it probably will never run on fifth stage. So in, instead of running at 10 and a half amps like it's doing now, it may run at eight amps. So, you know, it, it will save me money over the long term. Now, I did not take the inverters lightly. I really didn't. I know what they do for, for many splits. I have too many splits here at my house, and I love both of them because they do what they're supposed to do. Right now, mine is running at low speed out here in this office, and it's just maintaining a, com a comfortable temperature, and that's what we want. We don't want a bunch of air blowing on us all the time. Um, 
You know, and I'm going to go ahead and say it. This ain't your daddy's air conditioner. It, it's, and I don't mean any disrespect by that. What I mean by that is what my dad would have bought. This ain't the same thing that he was going to buy or he would have bought back when I was a kid. Um, you know, and it's not even the same thing I would have bought 10 years ago because I bought a 15 seer 10 years ago. It, it's just, I don't think that the repair cost is going to outweigh the the running cost. Because I believe that when people actually put this in their house and they see what it actually will do for them, I don't think they have a problem if it breaks. Now remember, these things are, they have a 10 year warranty. So people aren't going to have to worry about paying for parts. They'll have to worry about paying labor, but not parts for the next 10 years. And, and you know, that's just... So anyway, I mean, um, that question, you really can't, can't ask that question because people buy Mercedes every day of the week. And we all know how, how much it costs to repair a Mercedes. But you're saying, well, yeah, but it's a Mercedes. And I'm saying, yeah, but it's a Mercedes. It's a car. And people drive those cars to show off. You know, they may like to comfort, but you can buy a $20,000 car and get from point A to point B without buying a $100,000 car or an 80 or, or a $60,000 car. And the same, same thing with air conditioning. You can buy a cheap 14 seer or 13 seer air conditioner and still cool your house. Or you can buy an inverter and cool the house and remove the humidity a lot better than you can with just a single stage 13 or 14 seer air conditioner. It's the world we live in and inverters are not going to go away. They're here to stay and if you're scared of them, you really need to learn how to work on them because if you don't learn how to work on them, you might as well find another career because in five or six years, I really think that that's going to be the, the, the go-to unit. Um, it, it's They're here to stay. Like I said, you're not going to get away from them. My refrigerator has one in them. My refrigerator has an inverter compressor in it. I have a mini split out here. I have a mini split in, a, in another room of the house. It used to be a carport. It's now a big room. And it's got a, a mini split in it. It's got a mini split in it because it's so much more efficient to run. And if it breaks, you know what? I'll be buying a board for it or whatever goes out. Because to me, you you just can't get any better. And I know there's going to be some guys that are like, oh, just give me a 13 series single stage. I'll be fine. I used to be one of those guys. I never would sell two-stage stuff. I wouldn't sell it because I just had some bad dealings with it. And so I just said, well, let's just keep it simple. But you know what? There's got to be a point in the time when you quit saying, let's just keep it simple. And you we do the job that we're paid to do and and provide people with the best comfort level they can get inside their house. And they are. They do cost more. But you know what? What is the price of comfort worth to you in your own house? One of the biggest complaints of people where they work is it's either too cold or too hot where they work. And they got no control over it. But you finally have control inside your own house to make your own house more comfortable than it's ever been. And like I said, my house now it used to be around 57, 58, 59% humidity inside my house. And now I've got it like down to 51, 52% just by adding that unit. And my house is still zoned two stage because I live in an L-shaped ranch, early 70s. And it just, 
you know, it, it's got some other issues. I need to put a more, little more insulation in the attic. But I'm telling you, when I change that system out, my wife said it the other day, the air just feels better in here. That's because I'm removing some humidity. When it goes in the first stage, I'm removing humidity. So, you know, yes, it's worth it. You may disagree with me. You may not disagree with me. But I'm telling you, you cannot buy a better system than inverters. I mean, I have a five speed, but there's there's inverters out there that are fully variable speed. And, you know, those are great systems. But I'm gonna stick with a five stage. Um and and I'm gonna I'm gonna push them. Uh I know not everybody will buy them because no not everybody can afford them. But if they can afford them, that's what I'm gonna be putting in. Because I believe, I truly believe that once they experience it, they won't want to put a single stage in their house. And, you know, that's one reason that I put it in my house, because then I can really brag about it. I can brag about it the same as um, one of the guys I know that owns it. He said, man, he said, before I put mine in my house, my wife was at 75 degrees. She was walking around and she said, you know, it's just hot inside the house. And now at 75 degrees, she's walking around with a little Under Armour jacket on, and she's comfortable. So he said they, they had to keep their house at 71, 72 degrees for her to be cool. But not anymore. They can raise it up to 76, and she'll be comfortable. So yeah, so they are the way to go. I mean, that's just me, but... Um, and you can disagree with it. But in, in the end, the inverter will, will always outdo the single stage. So anyway, I'm going to run. I just wanted to, to answer that question and, you know, just put it out there. So anyway, y'all have a good one, and uh, we'll see you on the next one. Later. Bye.